I would like to tell you about this terrific new tool for all you golfers out there. Have you ever wanted to track and view your own personal golf statistics, performances and achievements and even compare them to the pros on the US PGA Tour? Well look no further than ScoreTrack, your ultimate personal golf statistics and performance tracking software program for the PC. Now regardless of whether you're a pro, trainee, low handicapper or weekend hacker, you'll be able to find something very useful from using this unique program. It is also a terrific gift idea for family and friends. At first glance there are many people who advocate that they just like to play and are not really interested in tracking their own stats and performances. I've challenged many of these people to trial ScoreTrack for one month and each of them were amazed at how helpful, addictive and most importantly how simple and fun it was to use. I now put the challenge to you. I would like to now run through a demo of the program to show you exactly what it does and how it can be of benefit to your golfing game. One of the best features of ScoreTrack is its attractive interface and easy navigation. Everything is accessible at the simple click of a button. Now from the main menu screen you can add golfers and select between them and this is particularly useful for family members where you can set up your own profiles and track your individual stats and even compare them between them. You can also add as many golf courses as you like by clicking on the courses button where you can add new courses or you can edit the details of any existing course. You can select the courses from the menus there and then once you've updated them you can simply click the update button. You can also switch all these features on and off if you only want to track certain details. OK, I'm going to enter a scorecard now by clicking on the enter scorecard button and it'll take us to the scorecard entry window. Now you'll see the details of the course up the top there and you can select other courses that you've added from the drop down box there. You can also print out a blank card for you to fill out on the course which will help with the data entry. Down the bottom right hand corner you'll have the course conditions which you can click to change for the weather, the wind strength and also the green conditions. OK, let's start. Now to the club off the tee, and that's broken down into four categories, being your driver, your fairway woods, your irons, and your hybrid clubs. Now onto the putts. And the course rating. Once you've entered your strokes and putts, the greens and regulation field will be automatically generated. Entering your fairways, you can employ two methods. The advanced method, where you can choose whether you've missed left, you've hit the fairway, or you've missed to the right. Or if you don't want to track so much detail, simply click the advanced button to a more basic method, where you just click if you've missed the fairway or hit it. Moving on to the up and down sand saves and penalties, click on the individual cells for the holes and select from the appropriate choice. Once you've entered in all the details of the card, you can click on this summary button which brings you to the summary statistics window which gives you a complete breakdown of your round with your score dispersion, even ranking the round at the course you play it and shows your Achilles heel which are your two most critical components which set you back in the round. You can also view a score graph which tracks your net score as you progress through each hole. One of the great features of ScoreTrack is the ability to print and email each of the screens. So from there you can print the screen or you can click that button and that will email it to your family and friends. Now if you're not interested in tracking all of the detail you can simply switch some functions off like club off the tee, up and down, sand saves and penalties simply by click clicking the buttons off and that way you're only tracking a minimal information. Now once you're happy with the scorecard just hit the submit button and it'll be logged into the database. Once you've entered some cards you can view your entire score history. 
This will bring out all the rounds that you've logged on all the courses that you play at. Simply cycle through the one rounds that you want or you can select individual rounds from the drop down box there. You can select your best and worst rounds, you can view summaries of those rounds and you can also edit some of the details or delete those rounds. Now let's move on to the heart of the program, the statistics and graphs window. Now this window displays virtually every statistic imaginable for the front nine, back nine and total round and gives you a complete breakdown of your golfing game. Now you can select individual courses or collective courses as a whole. You can also filter your dates and change it for particular periods. Now clicking on the pros button that will compare all of your stats to the pro. So you've got your overall stats, your last round, your last five rounds, and your last ten rounds. And that compares it to the US PGA Tour averages, and it also compares it to your stat leader, and compares it to the person who got the worst performance for that stat. So it's quite useful to see just how you do compare and whether you can actually beat some of the pros in those stats. You can also compare all your stats amongst your different courses so you can see which are your strong courses, which are your weak courses and you can also compare to other golfers who have been set up. Now moving on to the graphs component that's broken down into four separate categories and you can expand each graph by clicking on the title so you've got your scoring graphs here, your averages, your birdie conversions, your score types, penalties, bounce back etc and then you've also got your short game, so your putting, your putting averages, your scrambling, your one putts, your up and downs and your sand saves as well. Then you've got your score dispersion graphs, so your total birdies and pars, then your weather conditions, you've also got your penalties and you also your round scores, so what ranges you've scored your rounds in and also your net score movement. And then moving on to your fairways and greens, you've got your fairways history, you've got your round ranges for your fairways and your greens, you've got your accuracy off the tee, how often you're straying left or right, and you've also got these useful correlation graphs which show your score dispersion when you hit between certain ranges of fairways and greens, and then you've also got a fairway to green in regulation conversion which shows your greens in regulation when a fairway's hit as opposed to when it's missed and then your summary correlation graph is there as well. Back to the stats window. You've also got a terrific option here to view all of your good and bad records such as your best ever rounds, most birdies in a round etc. And if you want to click on the round where that was achieved you just click on the eye and the actual scorecard will come out which is a terrific function and if there's multiple rounds you can select between there. Par analysis is another terrific way of analysing your game. It breaks down all your statistics based on your par threes, fours and fives. So you can see which are your weaker areas and there's also numerous graphs with which you can choose from. You can also track your stats and performances on each individual hole of every course that you play at. Simply click on the hole and it'll give you a complete statistical breakdown on that hole of how you've performed, plus numerous graphs with which you can choose from. You can also go through a strengths and weaknesses analysis, which is a bit of a what-if analysis and shows you your various performances on these particular stats given certain conditions, such as when you hit a fairway, when you miss a fairway, when you hit a green or miss a green, and when you use certain clubs off the tee. It will also give you your strengths listed there and also your weaknesses. You can also select different holes and navigation through there. Back in the main course section you can also pull up your hole rankings which is particularly useful to analyse which are your best and worst holes for driving, for greens and regulation, putting, scoring, birdie conversion, scrambling and sand save. So it ranks your holes according to which button you click. Similarly there's the hole summary which ranks your holes in a side-by-side -side analysis so you can see your score dispersions here and see which are your good and bad holes according to scoring, fairways and greens, putting, birdie conversion, scrambling, up and downs and sand play. There's also a useful backup feature here where you can save your backups and you can load them which is a good security feature. So they are the main features of the program it is really addictive and the more you use it the more value you get out of it and you will never look back. 
I really encourage you to go out and buy it as it will change the way you approach your golf and will increase your overall enjoyment of this wonderful game. Thank you very much for your time today.